Ableton, Ableton Live. Live. Quick tips. Quick tips. For improving your workflow. In about five minutes, not including this bumper. Sometimes we need to have Live's tempo follow the tempo of a recording rather than the other way around. Check out this multi-track drum recording with lots of tempo fluctuations. You can hear the performance speeding up and slowing down, and to keep this human feel, we can tempo map the beat so that Live's tempo grid will follow along with the recorded performance. Start by determining the basic tempo of the performance. You'll need to do this in session view so that you can tap tempo along with a clip that has not been warp enabled. Let's use the overheads because it contains all of the drums. It looks like the tempo is about 104 BPM, so this is where we'll start. I'll stop the clip, head back to the arrangement view, round the tempo to that 104 BPM, and enable the overheads to play in the arrangement view. Now here comes the tricky part. I'm gonna set one track as the warp leader track. The Warp Leader track is the track that will be tempo mapped, and it must be the track at the bottom of the track lists. I'm going to use the kick drum because the kick drum has nice, clean, clear transients that will be easy to map. I'm going to turn on Warp for this clip, and it's going to be the leader. So we'll click Lead. Notice, and this is really important, that none of the other tracks have warp enabled. They will follow this. And to demonstrate, watch what happens if I promote a couple of these transient markers to full warp markers. Watch the other tracks. See what's happening there? The other tracks are warping and following along with the kick drum. This will keep the multi-tracks all phase aligned as their original recording, even though the kick drum is the track that will be the tempo leader, the tempo map. I'm going to undo these. And now I'm just going to go through and set up each of these, promote each of these transient markers to be on the bar. So I promote it and snap it. And I'm just going to do it on a bar by bar basis because I don't need to get into the weeds on the individual bars. I can do that later if there's something that I need to get a little bit finer on in terms of the tempo map. But otherwise, generally speaking, the bars alone are fine. Now, it looks like what I'm doing is straightening up. It looks like I'm straightening up the tempo of the kick drum, but I'm not. What I'm doing is creating a tempo map. And each time I do this, that tempo map is dropped into the master. So we'll display the tempo map on the master here. And you can see that every time I do that, I'm creating a breakpoint. That breakpoint is the temple map. So as I said, we'll just go through and do all this. And since I ballparked the tempo, it's pretty easy to see where these downbeats should be landing. So I, I hardly even need to listen. If you're not sure about something, you can, of course, take a listen. So what's so fantastic about this now 
is that I can add any other loop and it will follow along with the tempo map. Let's give it a try. We'll go to the core library, to the loops, samples, loops, and let's grab the djembe. So we'll drag this on here. So notice that the djembe has warp enabled, uh, but it's set to follow, so it's going to follow the tempo map. Duplicate this through a few times and take a listen. And that's how you can create a tempo map in live. To make live's master tempo follow the tempo of your live performance rather than the other way around. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and sign up to my musicproductionhelp.com emailing list to keep up to date with all of my latest and greatest videos and tutorials. Also, remember to pick up one of these cool music producer t-shirts or maybe a music producer mug and show off your music producer's spirit. Okay, cheers. See you guys soon.